Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my Friday message. Today marks the beginning of Women's History Month, and I invite you to join me in reflecting on the extraordinary women whose vital contributions have made and continue to make the School of Medicine the essential place it is. This year, Duke University's Centennial offers an especially opportune moment to learn more about the women on whose shoulders we stand. Throughout this month and over the course of the year, the Duke Centennial Committee and the School of Medicine will highlight the achievements of many of these luminaries. I also encourage you to explore the fascinating stories compiled in the Medical Center Library's Women in Duke Health exhibit. In research news, a Duke study indicates that tumor biology may underlie racial differences in certain breast cancer outcomes, regardless of socioeconomic and other factors. The study found that triple negative breast cancer tumors respond more poorly to chemotherapy in black women than in white or Hispanic women. The study, led by Maggie Denome, Chief of Breast Surgery in the Department of Surgery, suggests that the tumors may have molecular or biologic variations in women of different races. The research was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology. It points the way forward toward research to explore differences in tumor biology and develop more effective treatment options for all women with this aggressive breast cancer. Also on the research front, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative has been awarded to Duke, UNC Chapel Hill, and North Carolina State University. It's a collaborative three-year grant to develop new tools to map and manipulate kinases, a class of enzyme that plays a key role in many diseases. Duke molecular biologist Scott Soderling is principal investigator, along with Klaus Hahn at UNC and Albert Kuhn at NC State. This basic science research has the potential to advance the diagnosis and treatment of neurologic disorders and other diseases. Duke University School of Medicine remains among the nation's top institutions in NIH research funding, according to the annual Blue Ridge Institute for Medical Research rankings. The new report places the School of Medicine seventh in the nation in NIH funding, a rise from ninth place last year. Nine of our clinical science departments and two basic science departments now rank in the top 10 nationally. Pediatrics, orthopedics, and surgery, in fact, were number one in the country. This remarkable achievement is a testament to the dedication and innovation of our faculty and researchers, and it reflects the School of Medicine's influence in shaping the future of global health care. As the situation in the Middle East continues to weigh heavily on the School of Medicine community, I want to take special note of the Provost Initiative on the Middle East. I heartily support Provost Gallimore's efforts to meet the need for continued learning and civil engagement around these emotionally charged issues. I encourage you to consider participating in these ongoing opportunities for shared learning and constructive dialogue. Please visit the website on your screen for more information. In October, the School of Medicine will be reviewed by the Liaison Committee of Medical Education, or LCME. The LCME determines the medical school accreditation, which impacts physician licensure, eligibility for federal grants, and other essential factors. Aditi Narayan, our faculty accreditation lead, has been leading a comprehensive internal review process in preparation for the LCME process. This review confirms what we know, that we have much to be proud of here at Duke. But at the same time, there's always room for improvement and growth, and we'll be taking steps to optimize the school's outcome. Many of you, including faculty, staff, and students, will be asked to participate in the review process. Thank you for your support for this critically important activity. I encourage you to visit our LCME website for updates and information. And lastly, I'd like to highlight several Duke Centennial events of interest in the School of Medicine's community this month. On March 20th, the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology will host Donald T. Moore Endowed Lecture on Elevating Reproductive Health Equity. Dr. Ebony Carter, a School of Medicine alum, is the featured speaker. And on March 28th, the Office of Community Health will present the 2024 Community Health Summit focused on solutions to food insecurity. Please see the sites on your screen for more information. Happy Friday, everyone, and thanks for all that you do.